Lee goes in front of Gara, says psych, and hits him with the mean duck punch. Oh, sending right him in the day. How Rock Lee put the dog and underdog against Gara? Let's do it. Tommy talk about that boy Rock Lee. And what better fight to do the it goats. than this one? So let's get into it. So after the worst track run of fights of all time happened, I'm talking Chakra versus Eno, Naruto versus Kiba, and oh, yeah. Neji versus Kishimoto said, hold up, enough of these night cool fights. I gotta hit him with that heat. And he Nigga got said, to it. So boom, that random ass HD flat screen TV they had started selecting fighters. And the first fighter it selected was Gara. And you know what he Nigga does? On time, he this little teleportation time, thing. To go to the middle of the arena, you know he couldn't uh -huh. wait to do that shit. Nigga was and hard. I can't blame him. After watching those three weak ass fights, I gotta keep my mind occupied somehow. I'd be on my Vegeta time in two, taking my time figuring out how to pull up. The Facts. TV started selecting the next fighter, <laughs> and 99% of the remaining fighters were not trying to see him in the ones. So Nobody you know they were out there sweating. But notice how I said 99 because one was straight up ready, and his name is Rock Lee. He Nigga selected and look at what at he's all. doing. He's up there shadow boxing, no fear in his heart. He said, I'm built for this. And nigga like, what's good? He jumps down to the middle and hits that iconic pose. And let me warn you, if you ever get into an altercation and they start hitting the Rock Lee pose, you want to get out of there. They probably yeah, be in exactly. the gym five hours a day, minimum. For your own what safety, the walk away. But well, before the fight on. even starts, I need to talk about Gara's teammates, Tamari and Kankaroo, or however you say it, because they are Kankuru? really some elite level haters. The fight ain't even start yet, and Kankaroo in the back talking about Kankuru. tell your friend with the shitty haircut, he'll never be Gara. Hey, hey, uh, can we peep how ugly this nigga Kankaroo is? Bro? This nigga's ugly as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Not in this lifetime. I know Naruto in his head is just like, oh my god, bro, is Dick riding all you do? <laughs> because this <laughs> shit is Kankuru. outrageous. Dick Don't get me started on Tamari. Because Kishimoto takes us through her thoughts and she was really talking about his kicks are weak as hell. Like, bro, what was wrong what with his I kicks? Do? And the oh, crazy me. part is if he seen either of them in the ones, he would have packed them up and went on to the next Like, one. the bitch Tamari is a fucking fan. How she know what even a good kick is, dog? Round. But let's get into it. The Proctor's in the middle like, ready? Box. And Rock Lee starts rushing and mm. holding that W key. But I know you see Gar with his arms folded. And, and we like, know good and well. If someone is standing still and not moving 99% of the time, your attack is not going to work. It really isn't. And that's exactly what happened. He tried hitting him with the Leaf Hurricane and that shit did not work. He gets blocked and Gara tries to attack him. But Lee is quick on his feet, so he moves out the way. Nigga and I know you see him doing those backflips. He's not taking that screen time for granted. He already <laughs> doing the most trying to get more minutes, but he had no idea what Keisha Shimoto had in store for him. So after getting blocked, Lee is just like, damn, he blocked what do I do? with this hand. <laughs> Whoa, really? I'm thinking bro about to pull up with a whole new game plan after stating that obvious ass shit, but he doesn't. The nigga nigga finna start spamming fucking attack, bro. He just Light. runs back at him with no new strategy. Light attacks no and spam that shit. Gets this shit blocked. And it's crazy how we found out later that the Santa does this shit because of his mother continuing to protect bro long after she's gone. She's long really looking she's up gone. with the controller perfect carrying every attack. This man Rock Lee was doomed from the start. The odds were always stacked against him. This, damn every on the controller. this is unfair. So after a couple more attempts shit was clearly not going anywhere bro even tried taking out his kunai like an apex heirloom and he started swinging at the same he was out there doing the anything, sand. on my first watch this had me thinking like damn maybe gara's hating ass teammates were right maybe lee wasn't all that but then again he's a dude with no ninjutsu going against the number one prospect like his Facts. life is already hard enough they hoeing him and i'm not gonna lie you can't tell me the tuning exams were not rigged let's look at the top three they had, prospects they gotta be. gara Neji and Sasuke. They got Sasuke going against a Sound Village that, NPC. That Neji going nigga. against Hinata. And no disrespect to Rock Lee, but on paper, Gara going against Lee is ludicrous. Homie shouldn't have stood a chance. I know you <laughs> saw that attendance. Their whole goal was to sell out the arena. This shit is fixed. That TV over there? Yeah, that shit is not random. Is Anyways, scam. Gara trips Rock Lee and tries to crush him. But Lee gets out and kneels on the statue like he's some superhero. Now look, if y'all haven't seen this moment, bro, this nigga Lee, when he sits on this statue, just know when he gets off, he is gonna be on time. And this is where Mike Guy comes in talking about, all right, bro, you could take those heavy ass weights off. Not gonna lie though, I know he's your sensei and all, but those shits would have been off. Do you see who they got me fighting? This demon ass kid who no one played catch with? I'm not taking my chances. Oh, so Gara's hating ass teammate Tamari is sitting there talking about those weights are weak as hell and they're not about to make a the difference. But sure they ate her words because once those weights hit the floor, it had everyone shocked. 
but look at Gara though. Like, he really hit him with the light work. No reaction. Till bro move. Now look at him. He look like, hey, yo, why he disappeared? <laughs> hey, he like, hey, he's looking fast as shit. Lee starts hitting around, bro, just toying with him. And look mm. at Gara. The thought of him having to actually box <laughs> is killing him right now. He, Nigga, like, hold on, bro. I think my second keep up. Knows he's about to get exposed for having no hands. The sand is barely keeping up, and that's how you know his mom is down in hell sweating right now, trying to keep up with every hit. Got her working Damn. overtime. I thought she gotta be in hell. He starts circling Gara and is like, oh, yeah. It's time I finally get my lick back. Starts hitting the Sonic and puts the back of his, head, on the back of his head. I ain't gonna lie. I don't see how. Kingdom looks straight down. Just look his ass eat. How is his neck still attached? How was his neck not fall off his body after that kick? Nigga did a whole front flip, spammed it seven times, and then landed on his head. Got the nigga looking like that. How the hell is his neck not detached? Moting, he hitting the dab. And look at my <laughs> guy back there. He hyped his shit. And nigga, I would be too, because Lee out there cooking up in his outfit. Lee said, uh, I'm not finished. Hits Gara's stupid ass with a crossover and is like, hey, are your dumb ass little Gara gets socked clean in the face. That shit had Gara flying. He is the ground. And I'm not gonna lie, that shit had me smiling. I wanna see Lee win. But what I didn't know at the time is Gara had that Batman level prep time. Because he had a backup plan the whole time if his auto defense failed him. And it was to coat himself in sand armor. And I couldn't even be mad. That was a good play. Good IQ. It was a good still play. A bitch though, but hey, good IQ. <laughs> The camera cuts to Gara, and we see why no one wanted to play Yo, tag with this evil. Lady. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not. If I, if I see this nigga, he's smiling, eyes popped out like that, dog. I'm gonna be like, y'all. I'm, I'm gonna look at the judge like, y'all. Y'all want, want, want me to continue fighting? This nigga's a fucking madman, bro. Look at him. He out there tweaking. And the reason this scene be living rent free in my head. Wait, now that I think about it, do like Gara and the One Tails be like tag teaming bitches when they get older? Like, all right, tap in, One Tails. Like, don't think about that shit. I think Loki could be tag teaming bitches. It's because the way this man Gara was breathing. I don't know if y'all remember, but I'ma play the clip right here. <laughs> see, 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 I forgot all about this. <sighs> At that point, I'ma say, Judge, stop it, bro. This nigga has lost it, dog. Like, oh nah, do you hear this man? <laughs> I'm out of there as soon as he starts doing That's that. what I'm You're saying. Crazy. But Lee had a plan. He was ready to end this shit in one move. Hey, real quick, thank you for 252k. He took the toilet paper <laughs> off his arm and started circling me like how Pegasus be doing in Baby. Look at the and this man Gar really had the audacity to talk about. Bro, what are you waiting for? What this arms folded sitting in the <laughs> middle. Like, bro, all you do is sit there and stand because you got auto defense. Wasn't Buddy just like tweaking? Like, it's going about some. You're boring as hell. This is why I say Gar's player comparison is Tim Duncan because even though they're elite as hell, they got the most boring play styles of all end. time. If you ever have trouble sleeping, put on some Tim Duncan highlights. I promise you it Tim works Duncan like a jump. Highlights. Lee goes in, hits him with an up tilt, which kicks him mm. up in the air. Gara starts getting juggled up in the air like Isaac Newton oh, did in nah. gravity and put him up to a place where he could die from fall damage. He wraps the toilet paper around Gara and tilts him down head first. Then he starts spinning and sending him to the ground. First time watching it, I thought it was over. He hey, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all about to see what happened next, but plot saved this nigga Gara. How did that nigga not die? How was he? This nigga kicked him up, comboed him up to the air, wrapped him around my toilet paper, spin him around while going 50 miles per hour into the ground and just watch. He caught him. Look at Gar, he looks like a broken face right like now. He's People in the stands were celebrating too. They thought evil has lost, but we all know what happened. Somehow Brody is Houdini and the thing that we see on the ground is an empty shell. Which means Rock Lee didn't do shit and the match is not over. I know my guy mad as hell right now. <laughs> Lee executed the move just like he taught him and that shit still ain't get him. Gar responds right behind him and starts laughing maniacally. Like this dude is still alive after that. How was he not dead, my nigga? He sees bro with zero stamina and Brody started hey, licking yo. his lips. Nah, hell he sent nah, sand that bro and that shit was back. Then he starts laughing again and launches a whole sand tsunami at bro. Yeah, this shit was getting hard to watch and then it happened. They started showing us flashbacks so uh, Rock Lee can only mean one thing. He's about to go crazy. But before I skip yep, the flashback cutscenes, I need to talk about the one with Neji because this was kind of crazy. This man Neji put the heel on his shoulder and started going to work. 
Look Damn. at this. He hits him twice in the gut. Headshots Damn. Him, oh headshots my him God. And he ends it off with three more headshots. Like, Damn. he did not have to do that. Getting slapped up. So after the flashbacks, they take us right back to the fight. Gara attacks Lee and bro moved out the way fast as hell. Oh, and shit. you know bro is confident because he has his back turned to him right now. Gara said, man, that shit's a fluke. Tries to attack him four more times, <laughs> but he mm, too move is copy. League Nation certified. After all those misses, Rock Lee starts to charge up. And Gara's like, I don't know what you think you're planning, but you're not a Super Saiyan gang. It's over. <laughs> and Lee hits Saiyan. him with the, you are right. It is over. Bro starts charging up. He opens up the third gate, and that shit got him looking crazy. This nigga, is not someone you want to fuck with. And Gara soon found that out. Lee opens up the fourth gate and charges right at him. He launches Gara straight up, and Gara's just chilling peacefully in the air. Rock Lee hits him about one kick, and you flying that high? With the jump scare and starts juggling Bro around the See? arena. Neji is sitting there terrified as hell because he how has Bro not lost consciousness? He was out there greasing Lee back then. He didn't know he could do all this, and mm -hmm. the crazy part is Lee said he was saving this for Neji. That boy nah, was crazy. out here plotting murder. Nigga, if Neji fought Lee hell. using the gates, he would have died. But hey, at least that death. Was would be 20 times better than his original one. Bro established himself as a pencil holder before he went out. A that shit crazy. Holder. Lee goes in front of Gara, says psych, and hits him with the mean duck punch, oh, sending right him beating down. But Lee wasn't finished. He made Gara hit the blunt and pulls him towards him, hitting him with Damn. a punch and a kick simultaneously, and completing then... the hidden lotus and sending him to the ground. But this oh, is where man. true pain happens, because Gara had the gourd which was made out of sand and it cushioned the impact, making him survive that shit. And it was I GG. I lot. Nigga, Gara should have been done after he got spinned around Joe in the air about seven times and then launched him up and pinged him back down. Like, how was he not dead? How was he not done? I don't know. Look at Lee. He's on all fours oh and is out God. of energy. Gara's bitch hey, ass uses the last of his sand to crush his arm and leg, trying to end Bro's whole career. Gara already pissed the whole block off with that shit, but homie said, I got one more in me. Got this time, more. he tried to put him to sleep for good. I had to look away because I couldn't watch him go. But thankfully, my guy comes in and saves him. Hey, nigga tried to fucking thirst rock. Right? Nigga, Maddie got his ass beat. Nigga, relax. Nigga, you ain't got the thirst. Nigga, cut you fucking got your ass whooped. Since he stepped in, it gave Gara the automatic win. But we don't, don't care. care. Because the only thing that matters is that Lee is alive. He starts to walk off. And bro, this is how you know Rock Lee has that dog in him. Because he gets back up bleeding in his stance completely and unconscious. Still that fight. man is truly different.